We're ready to go ahead and take the dishwasher out of the uh, box. Now some important things that you want to do is um, that you have a line right here at the end of the box and uh, it tells you not to cut above this. So uh, it's uh, good advice. So go ahead and just take your box cutter and cut right at the line like so. Now one good thing to do is as you're taking this out of the box and you're by yourself or it doesn't matter, uh, you've, you want to protect the floors so if it's a linoleum or tile or hardwood like these floors are, you don't want to take this out of the box and then scratch up your floor. So uh, have a rag or a towel or anything that you could use to get this up and then make that transfer over. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And these are pretty light. Uh, I'm just going to pick this up and set it right like so and make sure that I'm on the, the pad itself. Uh, this does have a thermal pad. Uh, you can just take this off and lay it to the side for right now until after your, or right before your install, insulation. You want to make sure to wrap that again because that, that keeps uh, the heat contained uh, on your dishwasher uh, body. Okay, just for demonstration uh, purposes, I've turned the dishwasher on its face, and of course I've protected the facing uh, to make sure it doesn't get scratched. But I wanted to show you this particular um, setup here that we've got. And this is access to the uh, water supply. And this white coming out is the what we call an expulsion tube, or the evacuation tube, and this is what's uh, hooked up to your drain. So for right now we're going to talk about connecting uh, this particular item. Now um, what you're going to want to get because it's not always included uh, with with your dishwasher when you purchase it is uh, just at your hardware store go ahead and get a universal dishwasher connector and inside here what you're going to find, of course, is the, the tube. Now, uh, this can be used if you have a new uh, uh, fitting or, or anything that's different from what you already have set up. So you can make ad adaptions on that. We don't need this right now. What I do need inside here is um, uh, these particular uh, fittings. So what I'm going to do here is just show you what I'm going to uh, connect uh, all my hoses too. And there are some important um, adapters in here uh, that will make the fitting work. This particular one that I'm interested keenly is um, is this one right here. And um, you can tell this is a U-shaped. And so what I'm going to do is connect this and then connect my water supply line uh, to this. But there's some things that we have to do first off before we get there. Now to make this work you're going to need three items. One is Teflon tape. It's the blue, this is for water. And two is the joint compound, pipe joint compound. You're going to need this. And you need a paper towel because this is going to get messy. So uh, some plumbers and some people have done this uh, one way for years and some have done it differently. I do a combination of both. And as you see me here, I'm going to uh, make sure that this joint compound gets all the way inside the uh, fitting there and also I'm going to do it one more time on the end of my uh, additional fitting and some people say you don't have to do this I do it anyhow because I am so allergic to leaks to water leaks and I hope you are too so that's uh, that's the first thing that we're going to do there the next is we're going to take some Teflon tape and with the Teflon tape um, it's uh, a kind of a formula that I do because I don't have any leaks. I've been doing this for about 35 years and I've never had a leak when I've combined both the joint uh, compound and the Teflon tape. Now remember when you're attaching this particular or any kind of uh, 
of tubing, it's always going to be turn, uh, turn clockwise uh, to tighten and then counterclockwise to loosen. So I've got to go with the same flow as, um, as this goes. So I'm going to put this actually like so and then go with the flow of the turn. Now this is kind of, kind of uh, particular. So I'm just going to hold this down here, make my loop around, flatten that back out and not get it twisted, and then go around again. And <clears throat> what I like to do is go around a couple of times, that way I make sure that I don't have any allowance for uh, leaks or any uncovered uh, threads. And what I do here is just pull, hold down, and just pull, and it'll snap. And then this way, when I put uh, the fitting on, uh, it, won't, it won't leak. Now I'm going to do the same thing here. Again, when it's facing you like this, I'm going to go clockwise. So I'm going to put this on like so. And then, got to be careful with this because uh, it does have a tendency to twist. And uh, that's not good. So I'm going to take this and just hold the Teflon tape flat like so. And then again, just pull it. And then I'm ready to go. Now, uh, one thing you got to make sure is that you have the, the washer inside. Otherwise, it, it is going to leak. So I'm going to screw this on now. And so you don't want to get this on wrong. And the only wrong way that you can get it on is uh, to cross thread the threads and, and strip them out. And that's a kind of a nightmare in itself. So as you notice here, as you tighten this up more and more, then this becomes tight as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take this straight on back like so. Um, grab a pair of pliers. Now, the uh, pliers that I recommend is uh, what we call channel locks, and this has a, a variable uh, width. I can take it and make it short, or I can take it and make it big. So, uh, this is called a uh, adjustable wrench, and again, I'm going to go clockwise, and at the same time, I'm going to hold on to that right there and use my adjustable wrench okay now that's pretty tight and that's not going to move there and just make sure that when you're working with around a threaded uh, pipe that you don't uh, get into anything that's going to mess up the threads so you've got to do that and uh, it's kind of cool to clean up uh, as you go. So the next step, step I'm going to do is go ahead and connect um, the water line and I won't be able to show you because um, uh, it's going to be kind of in the dark and behind things where I can't get to it with the camera. Uh, after I do that then I'm going to connect the um, drain line and then of course connect the uh, electrical and I do that last uh, because of just safety. Alright, let's move on to the next thing. Okay, now after everything's been connected, that's the water line coming into, the uh, excavation line going out, it's been connected, and then the electrical, uh, the last two parts are the, the security screws that go up underneath this. Now that's only going to work again if you have uh, wood for it to go into. Um, you'll have to contact your appliance store for anything uh, of variation, you may have to put uh, a piece of wood up inside here uh, or, or shim it up uh, to make it to make it uh, keep from falling out let's say that you open up the drawer the door and pull out the drawer and you have a load of dishes if that's not secured here at the top it's going to fall down and fall forward uh, do some damage not only to to the floor but also uh, to your dishes and to um, the unit itself so um, we're ready. Once we get this on, we want to go back and turn the power on 
and turn the water on, check, uh, let it run through a cycle and, and check um, your water line underneath and then um, also uh, to make sure that it's uh, expel expelled correctly and um, then you're ready to go. Alright, this is Rick Patterson with the Handyman Toolbox. See you next time. By the way, before you go, I want to encourage you to check out my other videos and you'll see a link below. Click on it, the 1,000th person that subscribes to thehandymantoolbox.com gets a free tool. Go ahead and register now. See you there.